And look, a little spring rain coming through on the lakes just as we arrived here. But look at all those guys out on kayaks, way over there, yeah. They're having fun. It's just water. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Tigner Adventures. It's a little wet out today, <laughs> but we are at uh, Moraine Lake. This is just uh, right above Lake Louise. We're camping at Lake Louise this week. And this uh, lake is a very popular one. <laughs> the only even way to, in the rain. <laughs> even in the rain. The only way to uh, get here is on a shuttle bus. So you do need to make reservations ahead of time. And uh, all of them for the whole summer are all filled up. So all that's available is the last minute ones. So two days before uh, each uh, day for tickets at 8 a.m. it opens up for last minutes and they are gone in about five minutes. <laughs> so, But one of the things I wanted to tell you was uh, there are two different options. One that shows uh, Lake Louise is on the left and then on the right is Moraine Lake and what that means is, nobody would tell us but until we got here, but what that means is, which lake do you want to go to first? And so the shuttle, both buses, uh, no matter which one you choose, uh, you can go to both lakes. They, there's shuttles between the lakes and everything like that. So it's just whichever one you want to go to first. In our particular case, we chose Louise. But then when we got there, it's like uh, we didn't understand that. And they said, oh, we have openings over here. So we went over to uh, the Moraine side. And so we're up here first to kind of check this out. And then we'll um, check out Lake Louise after this. But uh, one of the reasons that we chose this first is because you have to have a shuttle get here. Uh, the one at Lake Louise, you can drive your car up and pay for parking. For today, though, we are going to enjoy this lake. Look how clear it yeah. is. It is a nice lake, pretty blue. A little bit of a rainstorm just came through uh, just as we got off the bus, but uh, the sun's coming out and it's looking gorgeous. So there's a couple hikes. There's one that's along the lake itself, and then there's one that overlooks the whole uh, seven peaks of all the mountains around here plus the lake. So uh, that's about of only that's like a 0.3 mile uh, hike or 0.3 kilometers, <laughs> and the other hike along the lake is 1.4 kilometers. I got to remember to keep getting into the metric here. Maybe by the time we get done with Canada, we'll be uh, uh, metric, metric trained. <laughs> metric trained, yes. So anyway, uh, for now though, that's uh, the plan. So Let's you go. got you got comments. You want to? She's ready to go. Look at that scenery up there. And then right here in the foregrounds is there is a little boat launch here. You can rent canoes and go out there and play in the lake. So. But the view on the lake is really getting pretty when the sun comes out. So they do have canoe rentals. And there are the canoes. Look how pretty that lake is. The canoe rental is $140 an hour for the canoe. Three people maximum in a canoe. We are on the trail, going around the lake. You can see over there, the lake is really pretty. The sun has come out. Actually, we're not going around. Nanette corrected me. <laughs> this is uh, 1.4 kilometers to the upper portion, and then we just turn around and come right back. So that area in front of us is the uh, Rocky Point. That's the 0.3 kilometer hike that goes up around to the top up there so that you can take pictures of this beautiful lake. They have a very nice trail along here. and the smell of the forest after a rain. Got a little creek running by us right here. So there's a picture looking up the lake towards the mountains. Look at that big glacier right there. Wow. number of glaciers up here. It's pretty cool. Look at the color of the water. Now the sun's shining on it. Actually if the wind would 
die down, we'd probably get some good reflection shots. So we used to be able to drive up here, but this area became so popular, the parking lot is pretty small and the road is pretty skinny. So they went ahead and set up a bus group to come up here, bus routes, and they don't allow cars anymore because the road's not really wide enough for the buses to go back and forth and safely. And so the only way you can really come in now is on a bus. So, but there are a lot of people here. I can't imagine that many ever trying to get in here with a car. So, so the bus system is a good change that they've made. Just a really pretty scene here. Just looking through the lake, reflection there up onto the mountain. It's interesting how the color of the lake changes based on the sun, the clouds. Looks like we have, might have another storm coming in here. But there you go. Pretty mountains. We're gonna turn around and go back to the rocky point so we can see if we can, what kind of pictures we can get from up there before the sun gets too low. So the reservation system for the shuttles allows you to start at six to a seven, seven to eight. So it's every on the hour type setup. So anyway, a lot of people can reserve places up here and, and the buses are uh, big Greyhound buses. So they hold a lot of people and you can go anytime during that hour slot. So. Ours was two to three. So you could come up here really early in the day and uh, stay all day. And the last bus out leaves at about 7.30. So if you don't make that bus, you have an awful long walk back to Lake Louise to find your car. Or I guess worst case is you just end up staying at the lodge here and uh, paying for the night. Besides uh, Moraine Lakeshore here, we also have a number of hikes if we go to the right here we can go up to other lakes and so you can spend quite a bit of time hiking here if you want to spend the day and here's the lodges that you can rent for the night i don't know how much these are though but uh, you could stay the night if they had an opening otherwise you could just schedule some time and come up here and enjoy the lake in the evening early morning it'd be pretty nice to uh, just come out on your deck and sit out here and watch the lake the evening sunset over the lake so they do have a cafe they have a, and a gift shop up there in the lodge building they do have an information center here so that you can stop and talk to the rangers and get some information if you need it but you can see that the parking lot here is pretty small you better we get the buses in here we're going to do this little hike going down here to the uh, Moraine Lake. Uh, this is going to be an overlook actually. It doesn't say that, but it is. And the uh, Constellation Lake and Taylor Lake. And we're working our way down the trail here. Oh, there's a Y in the trail. No sign. No sign. <laughs> Everyone's going the other way though. Look, we're showcasing Ninette's new tattoo. Wow, pretty. Ah, I really like it. If you're moving around too much, they can't see it very good. So pull your hat back. Oh. You can't tell, it's a stingray. Whoa. Stingray with two dolphins, uh, some Hawaiian flowers, um, a mama and a baby whale, and then the lines go down her back for the tail. I did talk to somebody about those other trails that were coming down one of them. And he said those other trails go to the parking lot. So they got off the bus and came down that trail. But boy, there's just nothing down here that says that. So, But anyway, we're going to keep on going. Here we are hiking up. This is, we're going to the rock pile. So this is what we're hiking up to. I'll be honest, the rock pile so that we have a better look over the lake. So we're going to take off to this path and actually go up to Moraine Lake Overlook. 
All right, hey, we found a sign here. So we know we're gonna go straight up this way. There's the hike. We're coming up the mountain. Okay, we just seem to keep going up, up, up. But we're gonna go around here. Let's see if we can get a good view over the lake. Look at those mountains in front of us. that blue water. Sorry if I'm breathing hard, but I gotta keep remembering we're at a high elevation here. We're not used to this. There we go. Moraine Lake and the Seven Peaks overlooking the lake. Alright, we are working our way back down to the parking lot. Can I not stab too? It's uh it's really bright out here in the sun. Yep. Looks good. That is a must see in your yep. life. <laughs> that is so beautiful. So pretty, so many glaciers, no, mountains so here. Are just the really, water is this color. well, yeah. It's really that's true. Pretty. It is so that's pretty. true. Yeah, <laughs> it's all pretty. It's been a really fun day. Yeah. Thanks for going along with us today, yeah. and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, call this a day and go get in the bus line and see yeah. how long it takes us to get back down um, on the shuttle. But uh, it's been a, nice a lot of fun. Ride. Yep, it's been a lot of fun and uh, a lot of people. Wow, it's amazing. It's not even peak season. Yeah, this is, uh, what is this? Oh, this is the end of almost. June. Uh, yeah, right. Actually, what is it? Oh, July 1st. So two more days is Canada Day. So, yeah. wow, that's uh, going to be interesting to see too. So anyway, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along. And uh, at this point, we'll just say our goodbyes and hope to see you down the road somewhere. And if not, then on our next video, right? Bye. Yep. <laughs>